Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, and I've got a product review and a dessert to show you. A quick, fast, cool, refreshing summer dessert. Look what bloomed from Mother's Day. So, this is the roadie that I've been watching. The rhododendron. We call them roadies here. Like R-H-O-D-Y, roadie. Not like the band roadie. <laughs> anyway, that really did come up pretty, and purple is my favorite color, so there you have it. And I see that my grape arbor is getting ready to go. I'm never really thrilled about the grape arbor because mainly the raccoon and the deer and squirrels and whatever else can find, you know, they get after it. I don't remember if I, oh, look, look. Those little bitty purple flowers are also blooming. I just noticed that. I don't know what those are called. I used to, but I've forgotten in my old age. So there's a bunch of these and they'll bloom more. And there are other things coming up. Okay, now, I put up some flags. I can't remember if I showed you that or not. I got the wrong size. I was gonna put them in the basket. So I put them along the, the bushes here instead. Then I sent one of the kids to the store to get me some basket, <laughs> and they got little tiny ones. <laughs> These are blooming nice. Let's see if I can. There, those are blooming nice. So anyway, oh, I've got hummingbirds coming to them. I just, I just missed. Maybe one will come back, but probably not. So. These flowers are just, they're not, they don't look like geraniums, you know, with lots of blossoms, but they're pretty enough, I guess. They'll do. So far, they're just babies. They just started blooming. And, you know, not many of them in the thing. And it's a severe heat warning again today. So I've got wind, I've got, I kept, okay, I got up at 2.30 in the morning, opened the house, to let the hot air out that was from yesterday. And I um, let some cold night air in. Okay, so now it's just ramping up out here and it's about uh, 9.45 in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the house up all the way. And I've got my fans, which brings me to my next thing. I've got a product review, let me show you. Hey, I didn't say welcome to anyone or about anything. My name is Kendra, and welcome to my channel. If you see anything you like, I hope you'll consider leaving a comment, maybe coming back another time. And if you're not brand new, welcome back. I love to chat with people. I love when people subscribe, obviously, and I love getting to know you. So, here's this fan that I was talking about. It's called a Wuzu, and it's got a handy-dandy little... It, it's super powerful. I'm not going to turn it on. This is the second time I filmed it. The first time I filmed it, I turned it on first and you couldn't hear a word I was saying because I was right here next to it. You know, it's right in your face. So it's got, I think, five speeds and it goes from just a gentle nothing to a full-size big fan that you would never think this little thing would do. The blades are small. It must be all in the design that makes it so powerful. It is so cool. It lights up um, a really gentle, pretty blue and green in the same color of the Seattle Seahawks football team. <laughs> Not that that matters. You can um, put it on and it'll go off in one hour, two hours, four hours, or you can just put it on and it'll go off when you turn it off. You can make it go up and down. You can make it go back and forth. <laughs> or you can make it go all the ways. <laughs> Oh, I think it's so fun. Okay, and then, um, what's that one say? Oh, to turn the light off, because I guess some people might not like it if it's in the dark, you know. You hold it down for a long time, and that cuts out the light. But I do think that's pretty. And that's it. It was on sale at Costco for $19. No. Oh, boy. Was it $29.99? I think it was $29.99 but it was $10 off, okay? So, 
um, they didn't have any when he got there. And he called me and he said, Mom, they're out. I sent the kid. He said, Mom, they're out. I don't know. You know, they have a brand called Tornado. And I said, don't want Tornado. Been looking at these woozoos for a long time. I want a woozoo. Looks like an eyeball or a soccer ball, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, he said, well, I don't know what to do. They don't have them. And I said, oh, okay. And he goes, wait a minute. There is a display model on the top shelf. Should I get it? I said, yes, you should get it. Don't say anything. Don't ask permission. Put it in your cart. Get in line. <laughs> I'm terrible. So anyway, he did it, and I got it, and they were fine with it. They said, we're getting more in two days. You sure you don't want to wait? And he goes, my mom wants it now. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> so that's that. It's great. Get one if you can. Okay, here we go. We've got um, Calvin and Marie from Southern Country Living. They live in Georgia, and she is an amazing cook. She shared this recipe. I wrote it on a 3 by 5 card, and now I can't find it. So I've got to search her, um, you know, her page, her channel, and see if I can find it. But Marie knows what she's doing when it comes to pies, for sure, as do many Southern women. So all it's going to take is, and this is not in order, it's going to take eight ounces, this is the smallest I had, eight ounces of this uh, Cool Whip, teaspoon of vanilla, um, a graham cracker crust, I got the 10 inch, the big one, a can of pie filling, and in this particular recipe she used the cherry pie filling. You can use um, strawberry, blueberry, apple, whatever you have and enjoy and you need a whole block of cream cheese. This is what I had on hand. And a can of sweetened condensed milk. And lastly, one third cup of lemon juice. So I'm gonna get to mixing this together. I won't make you watch it. This is gonna go fast. Before I top it with whipped cream and cherries, I know that it has to set in my refrigerator for about four hours. So you may see a picture rather than the actual dealios here. <laughs> we'll see. Oh dear. Um, cut. <laughs> I opened this pie crust. It had been in my <clears throat> pantry for a little while and I opened it kind of, you know, you go around and you unloosen the, the plastic top here and I was turning it sideways as I went around opening, you know, each edge of it and it was shattered inside. I didn't know it would probably be bopped around in my pantry, and this is what I have. I'm going to scoop it all up, throw it in here, and place it back together. I don't mean in order. I may add a little bit of uh, butter to keep it, you know, in one piece so it doesn't shatter when we fix it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I am not making a graham cracker crust right now. I don't have it in me. <laughs> I have this stuff to do it, but I'm not doing it. This was supposed to be easy for me. <laughs> We're getting on that right now. Oh, this is mixed. I need to add my lemon juice, one third cup, and one teaspoon of my um, vanilla. And that's that. Okay, I got a bowl. I scooped up as much as I could. Melted a little bit of butter. Added a little bit of sugar. I'm going to try to make a paste out of this. And put it back in the pan in one piece. Okay, it's kind of the consistency of sand, which I, you know, imagine that's what it needs to be. I'm going to try to put it back in the pan. All right, it's, it's okay. It's certainly not as pretty and as perfect as it was made on the assembly line, but it's Kendra perfect. <laughs> I mashed those um, dry uh, graham cracker crumbs, like I said, with a little bit of butter. What was left in the butter dish on the counter that, you know, maybe an extra four tablespoons and um, a bunch of sugar and just granulated sugar. I mixed that in there and then I crunched it up to mix it all with my um, pinto bean masher or just bean masher, which worked very well. And so I tried to get it up as far as I could, but it, you know, it's not going to be all the way up, but it's fine. So now I'm done with this. Don't dump it again, Kendra. This is done, so I'm going to add my vanilla and my lemon juice. Uh -huh. Had to fish my uh, mixer blades out of the dish pan in the sink because I said, let's clean this mess up. I'm done with these. I do that often. I wasn't done with them. So now I'm going to pie crust here. This part's done. I'm going to pour it in, cover it, stick it in the fridge for four hours before I top it with cherries and whipped cream.
There she is. I gotta make a spot in my refrigerator for all of this big pie. All right, it's been four hours. I took it out of the refrigerator and I um, just put the cherry pie filling in the middle and I'm gonna go around the border with Cool Whip. And then I've got a half a can of this left, so I think I might put that in a container in the refrigerator and use it for something else. I'm not sure what just yet. There we go. If my uh, family like this, I think it's more cost effective to make it this way than to get the boxed um, cream cheese mix. You know, they give you a little envelope full of graham cracker crust and they um, give you the, um, it's like jello pudding mix, I think, but cream cheese flavored. And then also, um, you gotta use your own. Sometimes there's little tins of fruit in them. It depends on which one you get, but you gotta use your own whipped cream. So here it goes. I'm gonna put the lid back on this, stick it in the fridge until somebody wants to cut it up. And um, if you like something you saw today, I hope you'll consider reaching out and saying hello. Tell me if you ever make these like this. And um, go over and show some love to um, Country Southern Living, Calvin and Marie. Bye, everybody.